Men on Reddit, what is the creepiest thing a girl has ever said or done to you? I was going to head home after a night out and I was getting into my taxi a girl jumped in after me. I asked what they were doing and she said I'm coming home with you. No. Taxi driver helped me and she got out the car eventually when I shot down her advances. This was when I was teaching preschool in Bay Saint. Louis. Pre Katrina. One girl who was three years old yet incredibly creepy at almost all times. Told me out of nowhere while I was helping her build something out of blocks. I'm gonna kill my mommy. And my brother. And my dog. And my sister. But not my daddy. She said this. And everything else. In a creepy monotone. Someone I considered a friend started to grow feelings for me. But when she found out I had a girlfriend and I didn't feel the same for her she found out who my girlfriend was somehow. She then DM'd her and tried to tell her that I was cheating on her with her and that I am a pedo. The friend was a couple of years younger than us. Luckily I was with her when she got that DM so I could explain the situation and then we blocked her. Next day she DM'd her again from an alt account. Found out my address from the phone book. This was the 90s. Sat outside my house for multiple nights. All night just watching my house. I live in the middle of the woods miles outside of town. We only had one date and agreed to leave it at that. I found out sometime later what she had been doing. Stalked me for five years after we broke up. Not to me specifically. But my friend woke up with his pants off to a girl he had repeatedly rejected trying to get him hard. That was pretty creepy. Also. One of my old professors was stalked and harassed by his ex-girlfriend to the point where she was on a restraining order and the last straw was when he got a new girlfriend. She straight up shot him in the chest and he barely survived by luck. Hung out with some friends and they brought someone I haven't met yet. We ended up hooking up. Right after she asked where the used condom was. She grabbed it and said she was going to throw it away. Walked past the trash and went upstairs. Needless to say I was pretty nervous about getting a call nine months from then. I think I'm in the clear. Still creep me out though. She thought it was suspicious a single guy had a female dog. After six months from our breakup. My ex called me because she wanted to see me. It seemed strange to me but I accepted. When we met she was friendly and all. Then at a certain point she pulls a sheet in which there was written the list of all men she fucked after our relationship and she read it all to me. With accurate description of every sexual intercourse. Well it was an awkward moment. I've had a girl create about 50 different Snapchat. Facebook. And Instagram accounts all to try to get me to friend her. I've never met this woman in person and yet every few weeks I'll get a handful of friend requests from her. I could kill you right now and no one would know. During an intimate moment. I suddenly remembered something I had to go and do behind a locked door. Met this girl online and talked to her a bit. I did started to like her. Later found out that the pic she showed me of herself was actually a pic of her friend who had passed away due to cancer. This didn't happen to me but when my dad was at sleepaway camp as a teenager. This girl had a crush on him so she snuck into his cabin and folded and reorganized all his clothes. Carved my initials into her arm. Me. Being the fucking genius that I was. Was flattered and married her. I was not a smart man. Asked me to dress up in military gear and to rollerplay I was raping her. She timed this so that her dad was getting home. I was seeing this girl. Went out three or four times. Eventually got to sexy times. And I brought a condom but she asked me not to use it as she was on birth control. Few days later she called me crying looking for me to console her. Turns out she was crying because she thought that she couldn't get pregnant because she was in fact. Not on birth control and tried to time it right for her. Young me learned an important lesson about condoms that day and I didn't speak to her again. Stalked me after I said I wanted to break up. She was batshit crazy. She once told me dead blank if you ever leave again it'll kill you. 
I had a dream that you and I fucked behind the dumpster and I can't get it out of my head. Come on. Let's go. And then she grabbed my dick as if she was going to let me by the groin. Context. I was in high school and this girl was friends with my longtime girlfriend and everyone knew about our relationship. It was closed. Monogamous. Unexciting. And sweet. And this fake friend pulled this shit. I was pissed. I didn't turn her in because who knows what she'd say I did to school admins but I told my then girlfriend who cut her off forever. The bitch ended up expelled for bringing alcohol and cocaine on a school trip. My ex dedicated her 30 page final paper on me. Going into great detail about how bad of an BF I was. We were exclusive for two months. My ex used to enjoy riding me cowbell style. It seemed to be what got her off the most. Only thing is when she was right into it and on the verge of coming she'd put a pillow over my face so she didn't have to see me. Weird to think this girl that said she loved me couldn't look at me while fucking. I once told I girl I was gay and she proceeded to take her shirt and bra off and said that she could fix that. When I was in grade school, a girl snuck up behind me in gym class to sniff my butt. I caught her in the act. And just felt gross. Not me. My dentist told me this story once. He was still studying to be a dentist and they would work free clinics often in the poor areas around the campus for crack requirements. A girl came in a few times to have some cavities filled in by the last session. He said great. We're done. All your holes are filled to which she apparently replied. In the chair giving him bad sexy eyes not all of them. Not so bad. But his wife. Then Sirius Jelfchind, was the dental assistant and he says the combination of location, situation and the circumstances creeped him out so much he nearly ran out of the office. My ex got my name tattooed on her foot. Three years after we broke up. Filmed opening my eyelids while I was asleep. Still not sure what creeped me out more. Seeing myself like that or the fact that she does who knows what when I'm passed out. A woman I dated used to cuss me out while we were having sex. She would say. You call that fucking? Exclamation point. You limp dick motherfucker. This is good pussy. I wish I was you. You never had any better. Fuck me like the whore I am or I'll fuck you in the ass. I hate your fucking guts. Fuck me like you fuck your mother. I'll bet you know what your own shit tastes like after sucking dicks. It was kind of a turn on at first and it was almost like revenge sex. One time I started to laugh and she slapped me on the face hard enough to leave a handprint. She also came at that moment with the most demonic face I've ever seen. I stopped seeing her after that. I don't know what happened to her. One of my exes called me one time crying and told me she was basically raped by three dudes on a school bus. One of my friends rode that same bus and confirmed that she did not in fact get raped by three dudes on that bus that day. This same girl also tried to ruin my next two relationships. She was crazy. Maybe not creepy in a sense. But it freaked me out. I'm in the school hallway. School's been over for an hour. But my mother works there so I waited. I'm getting something from my locker. And this one girl walks up to me in the empty hallway, angrily looking, and takes my hand. And places it on her ass and goes does this feel fake? I was 13 at the time. And the whole thing freaked me out for a while. She faked being pregnant to stop me from breaking up with her. Every breakup after that I waited until my girl's period before breaking up with her. Having a crazy partner bargain with the life of your unborn child will fuck you up. My girlfriend at the time and I went to her friend's house for supper. Immediately after dinner the chick turned on porn of some chick getting railed while another girl kept spitting on her. She looked at us and was like so. You guys into stuff like this? We deliberated about six seconds and said. Hey. Not so much and left. Bonus points this was a new friend of my GFs and the first time any of us had hung out. In primary school, West African country, there was this big girl everyone in the class feared. So one day we were submitting our assignments on the teacher's table so it got a little crowded. She grabbed by man parts. Look at me and winked. I was super shocked but innocent. I didn't know what it meant or why she was winking after grabbing me. 
I didn't take it as a big deal but it took me a while to realize that she violated me. I hooked up with a random girl after a party. And when I woke up at her house her entire family was there for her graduation. She expected me to meet all of them. They were all hillbillies. And thought we were going to get hitched. Took my phone and sent the numbers of my mom and sister to herself. And used that as threat of blackmail. I met a girl from Boston that said when she was 13 she would get the condoms her stepdad used with her mom and use the contents inside as lube. Edit. When I knew her she was 25. Somehow got my number. Started texting me asking if I was going to Club X that night, which I was going to. Asked her where I knew her from. She started lying about us having hooked up the week before during a party where I did actually go to her. I was like WTF I didn't hook up with anybody there. But I started to doubt myself because I got pretty drunk then. She then started to tell all kinds of stories about how we met that didn't make sense at all. Decided to block her. Went to a different party that night. Found out it was an out of town friend of someone I vaguely knew. Who showed her my Facebook and she immediately began to stalk me. If you don't come up to my room. I'll come down to yours with a knife but you know said in a sexy voice. Was on a costume party dressed as a piece of bacon and this drunk girl casually walks up to me bites my nipple through the costume and continues to whisper in my ear what a juicy piece of meat. I probably stood there for a solid minute trying to figure out what just happened before getting the F out of there. More fucked up than creepy but my high school girlfriend was just using me until her boyfriend got out of juvie and admitted such to me on the day her boyfriend got out of juvie. Talking about eating people on a first date and talking about how much they love knives on the first date probably. She climbed up next door's fire escape and through my first floor bedroom window. That in itself wasn't too creepy. What was creepy was she didn't jump in bed or OWT. I woke up to her stood in the middle of my room watching me sleep. She actually turned her head to the side with a creepy smile and said hello sleepy head. Was freaky as fuck. Put chains on my windows after she left that day. Told her it was to stop the cat getting out my window. Face with tears of joy. E. Spelling. When I was 19 a co-worker tried to set me up with her 15 Y.O. daughter. Hitting on me when she's 37 and I'm 19. Grabbed my ass on the way out of the cafeteria. I didn't know who the hell she was because my high school was massive. So I just gave her a bewildered look and went on my way. Was more surprised that she was able to get enough material to grab onto. Boomboxed careless whisper outside my window. Passed out on a beach at night in Florida drunk during spring break. My friends thought it was funny to tell this girl that we met. That the reason I wasn't really talking to her that day was because I'm shy. Skipped to a few hours of drinking hard liquor and I was toast. I passed out on top of a beach chair umbrella box on the beach. Woke up to the chick with her hands in my pants. And all her friends laughing when I woke up. Scared the shit out of me. People would hear the story and laugh. Shit wasn't funny yo. That's fucking rape. Edit, because my punctuation was horrendous. And to add a small detail. The detail being that it was extra weird. Because. At the time I still hadn't gone further than kissing another girl. I was 15 stroke 16 when the whole thing happened. I was at a pub in England. A drunk girl got obsessed with me. Then started asking about my junk. Then wanted to see said junk. It was all jokes until I went to go pee and a few moments later she bust open the door to see my junk. Old building. Big girl and sure the lock wasn't really up to date so it's not like it took a lot of work. We were all drunk. But that shit scared me lol. Grabbed my crotch after I told her I am not interested. Then proceeded to tell me all guys want to smash. Um no thanks I have a girl and if I was single I want sober girls that don't smell like vomit. I swear to god no means no. Girl I was dating asked if I had changed the locks since breaking up with my ex months prior. I'm like no. But she wasn't a crazy person so I never worried about it. She says if I don't change the locks she ain't comfortable sleeping over. 
So I changed the locks. This ex sends me an angry text the next day so you changed your locks huh? Real nice asshole. So she had been coming over this whole time and doing who knows what. Said she wishes she wasn't my cousin. You. An ex told me over FB while I was on holiday with my family after texting my name over and over to get my attention because she wanted to talk to me 24 stroke 7 she said she owns my dick. Tinder date before we even met said she wanted me to come inside her and told me she wasn't on the pill. She just liked the gamble. Probably wanted a kid and child support. Went to a football, us, game in high school to hang with some friends. They were heading to hang with some other friends behind the bleachers and I tagged along. We get there and everyone saying their hellos and one of the girls I didn't know stuck out her hand. Almost as if going for a handshake. But instead of a handshake she grabbed my crotch and said hey. Nice to meet you or something like that. Kept it there for like 5 seconds or so before letting go and everyone just moved on as if nothing happened. Personally I didn't care too much. I didn't feel like I was in any danger or anything. But it's still a creepy thing to do. I was the creepy girl. So in middle school I was painfully awkward and had just got my first boyfriend and I dk why I thought this was a good idea but I would just stare at him. Like for an uncomfortably long time and he would pretend to not notice but I cringe so much thinking back on it. Obviously didn't scare him too much since we're married now. I'm still socially awkward but I've grown a lot since then. I used to cosplay. One of the ones I was best known for was Sishomaru from Inuasha. The character is a dog demon spirit in human form. At a con one time. I was talking to a friend and felt a slight tugging on the giant fur tail that wraps around one shoulder. I turn and there's a girl petting it. She looked me dead in the eye and said I want to have your puppies. My ex bought me a gun rack. I don't even own a gun. Let alone many guns that would necessitate an entire rack. What am I gonna do? With a gun rack? I have two. The summer after senior year. I had a stalker. I tried to date her. But she started seriously talking about marriage after two days. After I split up with her. She was leaving tapes, in the 90s, on my doorstep in the middle of the night. They were all her crying and trying to get me back. These were 60 minute tapes. We only went out for less than a week. About 10 years ago. I had a large group of online friends. This lady and I had been talking online for a few years. She decided she wanted to come up for a visit. She was changing jobs. And was looking for work in my area. When I told her I could help her find a place. She responded by saying that maybe she could just move in. We had never met in person and she wanted to just move right in. Calling me 10-30 times a day. Full books of texts about how I'm a dick. Also the perfect guy. I fucked her life up but I'm also making her life perfect. Like everything you can imagine. Negative and positive. Emails. Texts. Snaps. Whatsapp. We met one time. Never stick. In crazy. Seriously. I can't spell. In college met this girl at our local bar. Was usually packed every Friday. I was dancing around my friend indicated a girl was checking me out. I walked up made some jokes and started dancing with her. Dancing buying drinks she was trying to make out constantly. Offered to go back to my place. Was actually my friends but whatever. No hesitation she said let's go. We get back there start making out. You ever hear about people who like being peed and pooped on? She asked. A woman raped me when I was about 15. She was in her 30s. I was really high and needed to use the bathroom. She followed me in. Made me sit on the toilet then did what she had to to get me hard and had sex with me. I know everyone says this kind of shit can't happen to boys. But it does. I was scared and didn't want to but she didn't care. I just stayed sitting there while she did her thing. I wasn't a virgin at the time but I was still inexperienced. So talk all the shit you want and call me whatever names you feel like. It was fucked up and that's all I've gotta say. The whole you're so cute I want to roll you up and tuck you in my vagina comment was a little odd.
I can prove you're not actually gay then licked her lips and looked down at my crotch. She took my hand. Put it between her legs and peed in my hand. Not a girl but an elderly woman. When I was in rehabilitation enough to resepsis I had gone through at the age of 16 an elderly woman in the rehabilitation center who had a minor stroke told me that. If I were her son she would get an Oedipus complex cause she thought I looked really handsome. Was really weird. The odds that a random woman on the street will know less you is zero. Zero 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 one percent. The odds that a random woman at a bar catering to gay men will know less you is 90%. Give me two letters in the morning after a night she was completely unreachable. She removed all her pics and was silent on any social media. First letter was her suicide note. Second the letter why she wasn't able to do it. I'm a mod in a large popular discord. I worked hard to be anonymous. But I've had three women on different occasions somehow track down my private Facebook page and even my cell phone number. I have no idea how they found this out. And I can't imagine how much time they spent creeping around the internet for me. Red flag number one. In college we were debating the merits of providing needles for drug addicts to stem the spread of HIV AIDS. Not a heated, loud or especially impassioned debate. As I was explaining my position she grabbed me by my throat. Slammed me into a wall and shouted at me to never disagree with her like that again. Scared the shit out of me. Red flag number two. She told me that she had studied her scripture very closely and believed that the Jews were killed in the holocausts because they had killed Jesus and got what they deserved. Yikes. Married me then tried to take half of everything I owned prior to the marriage even though she was cheating on me with a good friend. Now is continuing to drag on the divorce for three years across four different states. Tinder only from now on. My ex and I were cuddling on the couch after I was done getting over the fact that she unironically put lychee liquor in my morning coffee. She then looks at me and says I wanna know what it feels like to kill someone. Needless to say that is why we are no longer together. I had a girlfriend when I was 21 and we were having sex and she bit my neck and once she chased me around with a box cutter so I broke up with her after only like two weeks. Once. My long ago ex wanted to collect my fingernails and toenails for some kind of spell. And she'd sing creepily by herself in the dark at the foot of the bed. In my early 20s I was at a party and the hosting woman full on tried to reach down my pants to grab my dick. Strange. Yes. What made it creepy is that we were right in front of her mother. Who was cheering her on? Got married. She turned out to be prize cunt. And mentally unstable. So three years later I've had enough. Get her out of the house and start the divorce process. This cunt gets on Facebook and messages every single long-term female friend of mine with I just thought you should know that pharmacodynamical and I are now separated. He's talked a lot about how he feels about you and wants to be with you but can't find a way to say it. I've had enough of his shit and wish you all the best together. Kind of I am. Quite a few of those friends took her at her word and broke all contact with me. The rest worked out it was bogus sooner or later. Fucking hurt man. What a bitch. Had this girl I was seeing ask me to come to her place. Watched a movie ate some food. All good. Ended up having sex. Halfway trough she's on top of me. Leans over while kissing she tries to spit in my mouth. Dodged that shit so fast my neck still hurts till this day. Yay I finished anyway. When I was a senior in high school. I had a group of female friends that ranged from 18 down to 13. I was somewhat interested in the 18 year old and the other ones were also at least interesting to hang out with. One of them was having a birthday party and they all invited me over. The birthday girl basically threw herself at me in front of her family and said I want you for my birthday. Her mom was like. Trying to shoo me into a bedroom with this girl. She was turning 14 at the time. I noped out of there so freaking fast. Hey. Do you want a beer pitcher of Long Island iced tea? My friend won at the video lotto and wants to share the wealth. Immediately followed by. Hey. You should get dressed and head home. My husband will be home soon.
Some chick with crazy eyes walked up to me in the store and asked if she could give me her number. Just out of the blue. Have never met her before in my life. As far as I remembered. I was grabbing milk at the grocery store and was holding my 14 month old daughter up on my shoulders. Needless to say I said no thanks. This one is more funny. I was hiking with someone and we were out in the middle of nowhere. And our conversation hit a lull. While trying to find a new topic she asked me have you ever thought about how you wanted to die. Thankfully I don't know. But I don't want to find out today was the right answer. I had a girl send me a picture she took of me while I was at work. She was a friend of a friend on MySpace back in those days. She just randomly posted it on my timeline. She could have just said hi. But somehow she didn't want to seem creepy fail. She cheated on me. I dumped her and she accused me of raping her. Seconds after telling her I wanted to break up she begged me to please give her a baby so she'd at least have something to remember me by. Another girl asked to drink my blood and a guy I dated repeatedly threatened suicide if I left. He once tried it and I had to keep his head from bleeding out after he had a seizure and feel on his head due to the overdose. Called an ambulance and he lived. Never ever sleep with crazy. The sex is like kissing God but the aftermath is like getting screwed by the devil. Deleted. I had a woman stand right in front of me once and just stare directly at my crotch as I was sitting down. At first I just assumed she was in a daydream and it was coincidental that was just the direction she was looking in but it went on for so long it started to make me feel uncomfortable and question her motives. I decided to just ignore her and she walked off without saying a word eventually but that made me realize how women must feel when men won't stop staring at them. The thought did cross my mind that maybe she thought I was staring at her at some point but I can honestly say that never happened so it was an odd and slightly creepy thing to experience. 